Hey guys, it's Joseph. <laughs> I haven't called myself that in years. But um, I was going through some of my older knives. I guess I got the idea from Tobias. I watched one of his videos this morning on some old knives. Kind of got me thinking, so I started ripping through my bag. You guys probably seen most of these. This is um. This is my uh, United States. I guess it's the U.S. Army. This is a 1976 Camillus. This knife is in beautiful shape. I was using it for a monkey fist. <laughs> and I got my... This is mine. This is actually mine from the... I think I was in 69 or 70, like that. I was in the Boy Scout. You could hardly read. You could hardly read the Boy Scout M1 on it. I could see it because I'm right here. But it doesn't pick up well on the camera. I don't know how it got worn away because this knife was put away for decades and decades. There's the Boy Scout M1. It is an Ulster. Handles are in nice shape. Then I have uh, this Camp King from Imperial. Also, this morning when I uh, was watching Tobias's channel, he had said something about the serial numbers on the uh, can opener. It'll give you an idea when they were made. So this one is uh, probably late 60s. This was a nice find. I found this in a uh, Army Navy store. I uh, picked up a bunch of stuff and I saw it there and I threw it in. So I really don't know what I paid for it. About 20 bucks. Nice little piece of American history. Yeah, speaking of American history. How about a real gas station knife? This is an uh, ideal toothpick this thing is so thin solid though and um I had to work the handles a little bit to get them to look nice real inexpensive I mean it's hard to believe this you don't see too many around but when you do they only go in for a dollar fifty to like ten dollars so to me it isn't worth getting rid of. I just keep it. I don't get rid of knives anyway, really. <clears throat> and I have this. This is... I think... This is a PAL blade. And I think they stopped using PAL blade in 43. So, I guess it's from down there somewhere. This little guy here, my dad gave me. I don't know where he got it. He's not even a knife person. Mm. So those are them. Mm -hmm. You know, I do have a knife that I think I want to get rid of, actually. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I have this here. It's a 2007 case. It comes in the... Um, called the Celtic Collection and uh, you, you know they they made 500 of uh, Stockman's 500 trappers and 500 canoes I believe and you could still find the trappers and you can still find the um, uh, 
Oh my god, I've got such a brain fart right now. Oh my god, whatever. The three bladed one. <laughs> but the canoe, you can't get them, you can't find them. And I got this from uh, Rodney. And he told me that, you know, and I forgot this about, <clears throat> I don't know, four months now, give or take. And I always keep going back and checking the internet, Googling it, and you just can't find a canoe. I don't know why, but yeah, if anybody has the other two and they may be interested in a canoe, uh, you know, drop me a comment. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great day. I'm going to go uh, fiddle around in my garden. All right, take care.